Cunningham leading. No, no, Lovelock leads by three yards. McCarley is third. Come on, kind of. Edwards coming up from fourth position. Lovelock leads by about four yards. Cunningham fighting hard. McCarley is coming up to his shoulder. Lovelock leads. Lovelock. Lovelock. Cunningham second. McCarley is third. Come on, Jack. A hundred yards to go. Come on, Jack. My God, he's done it. Jack, come on. Lovelock wins. Five yards, six yards. He wins. He's won. Hooray. The town of Timaru can claim a high number of New Zealand heroes and it knows how to honour them. There are statues of Bob Fitzsimmons the boxer, Jack Lovelock the runner and Farlap the champion racehorse in Timaru. Not far out of town is a model of Richard Pierce's flying machine. The first Timaru hero to make his mark was Bob Fitzsimmons, nicknamed Ruby Robert or the Freckled Wonder, who was a world champion boxer. Fitzsimmons was actually born in England, but he grew up in Timaru. His father was a blacksmith, and Bob's powerful arms and shoulders are said to have been developed working at the forge. After starting his boxing career in Timaru, Fitzsimmons turned professional in Australia, where he fought for many years before heading to the United States. It was there that he fought Jack Dempsey in 1891, winning the world middleweight title. He eventually went on to claim the light heavyweight and heavyweight titles, becoming the first boxer in history to win all three. This Timaru sporting tradition was continued by Jack Lovelock, one of New Zealand's most celebrated Olympians. Lovelock went to Timaru Boys High School, where he seems to have excelled at everything. Lovelock won scholarships to Otago University to study medicine before becoming a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford. It was while in England that Lovelock began achieving international success in athletics, mostly running the mile. At the 1936 Olympic Games, Lovelock won the 1500 metres by 4 metres and broke the world record by a full second. He became New Zealand's first athletics gold medalist and was presented a small oak tree by Adolf Hitler. The oak tree, now of considerable size, can be found at Timaru Boys High School, close to a statue of Lovelock in full flight. You could argue that the first flight in the world took place just north of Timaru, it probably occurred in March 1903 with inventor Richard Pierce behind the wheel of an aeroplane he designed and built in his shed. Pierce's flight was short, perhaps only 50 metres, not very high off the ground, and ended when he hit a gorse hedge. Pierce himself said that this attempt could not be considered a proper flight and that he had not beaten the Wright brothers to their historic feat that happened later in the same year. This did not stop Timaru naming its airport after Richard Pierce. Pierce kept inventing and devised a power cycle, a potato planter and two sorts of musical box. However, Pierce was unable to get companies to produce them and he died in obscurity. Perhaps the most famous of Timaru's legends is not a person but a horse. Farlap was born near Timaru in 1926 but spent the majority of his amazingly successful racing career in Australia. In 1930, after a slow start, Farlap began his dream run. He won 33 races out of his next 35, including the Melbourne Cup. In 1932, his owners took him to America, but before he could dominate the racing scene there, he died unexpectedly in extreme pain. The cause of death has never been clearly established, but it is thought that Farlap was fed poisoned grass. After he died, Farlap was claimed as a national treasure by both New Zealand and Australia, and the two countries share his remains. His skeleton is on display at Te Papa in Wellington, his preserved heart is in a bottle at Canberra, and his hide is at the Museum of Victoria. <laughs>